Well, this is Artifacts of Mars. I'm at a public park. You might hear some people in the background. They're setting something up, some kind of party or something. I'm not interested in that. Uh, today we're going to talk about white privilege. Uh, some people on my own chat group got me uh, riled on this. And we're going to talk. We're going to look at some incidents from history. And then I want uh, you liberals to sit there and tell me that these people were pri uh, privileged. And I'm also going to look at a severely bigoted uh, church denomination, the United Church of Christ. Okay, so let's start with a few things from history. Have any of you uh, ever learned about the early uh, troops under George Washington at Valley Forge? I forget which winter it was. Are they, they didn't even have any shoes and they're walking barefoot in the snow. Uh, they were all white people and did they, were they privileged? Was that a privileged walk in the snow and bare feet? With their feet bleeding, probably lost toes and such. Are you going to tell me that's privilege? Okay. So, let's look at one reason we have so many people of Irish descent in this country. And do a little reading on a subject. I don't know the exact dates. I'm not that good on dates. But look up something called the Irish Potato Famine. You see, uh, these Irish came over here, and they were persecuted, by the way. They came over here legally. The Irish depend a lot on potatoes, and there was a blight that hit the uh, Irish hit their country and destroyed the potato crop. That's history. And they came over here illegally, and yes, they were persecuted pretty badly. Is that white privilege that they were starving and they had to come over here? No, they weren't pri privileged. <laughs> they were desperate. They came over here and did things legally. Okay, new topic. Uh, what shall we look at? Are any of you familiar with uh, Torpedo Squadron 8, I believe it was, the Battle of Midway? I know for a fact that most people don't even know what the Battle of Midway was. Just FYI, Torpedo Squadron 8 and Battle of Midway was flown by white guys and they were all shot down and there was only one survivor. Ensign George Gay. That really was his last name, by the way. Did they have white privilege? Let's look at the Batan Death March. I think that was mostly you know, Filipinos being marched, but uh, there's a movie called Women of Valor. Uh, shows kind of shows the brutality of the Japanese against white people. Did they have white privilege? Did their white privilege protect them? If you're saying that they're privileged, then what good was their so-called white privilege? The answer is, in each of these cases, it's a fantasy. There's no white privilege at all there. Let's look at the trench warfare in World War One. In 1917, the Lusitania was torpedoed by a German submarine, and that prompted our entry into World War One. Our boys went over and fought in trenches. Uh, 
Europe. When the Germans used mustard gas on them, did, is that white privilege? Does that, did their white privilege protect them? Um, mustard gas is a blister agent. It causes golf ball size blisters and destroys their lungs so they can't breathe. Does their white privilege protect them? No. Donner Park. There's an interesting one. These are folks that are headed out west. I don't know the exact location, but they... Uh-oh. Hang on one sec. One of their pavilions <laughs> started walking to... Walking away because it wasn't secured and there's a lot of window. Okay, dinner party. Were they privileged? What do you think? If you're not familiar, they uh, got lost or something up in the Continental Divide up in the Rocky Mountains, whatever, and they wound up chowing down on each other. Yeah, that's right, cannibalism. Were they privileged? Did their white privilege save them? No, because it's a myth. It's a fantasy. You see, a privilege is something that is earned. You don't have it inherently. It's generally uh, given by a group or an organization or whatever. Earned. A right, if you believe in God, which I'm not certain about, I'm an agnostic, a right comes from God. G O D, God. Rights come from God, privileges come from humans, basically. That's if you believe in God. I'm not going to get too much into the theological discussion, but I am going to have to talk about it some. Now, each one of these cases, these people, are mostly are all white, and they suffered horribly. Some, you know, from attacks from other whites, some uh, from nature. You should also look up a term called Shaka Zoom. I'm not too familiar. This is uh, British colonialism, and basically there was a uh, army or whatever of British who got their asses beat pretty bad by soldiers. I'd have to look that one up. I'm less familiar with that than some of these other things. Did their white privilege protect them? No. I would submit that the reason white people spread the way they did is simple, simple geographic stuff. If you look on the map, especially British and France, Spain, what have you, they're very dependent on the ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, and they had the wood, the trees to build the ships from. So, actually, there is no white privilege. It's a fantasy. It's an old political trick. You create an enemy. After you create the enemy, you convince everybody else that they are bad people. These are bad people, and they're coming after you. Now, I uh, promised to talk about the United Church of Christ. I am an agnostic. However, I'm very capable of detecting when there's an ant. Has to see uh, present. 
on their new sacred blog. Some uh, dingbat posted 10 ways you can reject your white privilege. Now, the 10th one is the one that I'm really concerned with the most. Why? Because they say, the well, individual says that you are a racist if you're a white person, no matter what. Now, where have we heard this rhetoric before? We've heard it from racist groups, like the Pew Klux Klan. They target a different group. They target people of color and Jews. This person targets whites. But what she is saying, and this person claims to be a Christian, she's got a weird name. Uh, I'd have to have the computer in front of me, which I don't. But what she's saying in essence is, if you're white, you can't go to heaven. Because you're irredeemable. This is why I say the United Church of Christ and a number of other churches are apostate. Because if you're going to tell me that I'm going to hell because I'm a white person, that runs totally contrary to Christian doctrine of uh, the forgiveness of Christ and all that. It runs totally contrary to actual Christian doctrine. You see, this uh, person is a nut job. But the entire Ch United Church of Christ says that you have white privilege, therefore you're scumbag, basically, if you're white. And yet they have a very high percentage of whites in the church. It's inexplicable. I'll tell you what. And you can take this to the bank. If I had ever been a member of the United Church of Christ and they came out with this stuff, I would be gone that afternoon. Hey, they're coming after people with my skin color, and I know what that means. Sorry. I have this uh, instinct for self-preservation. Self and you'll find that this so-called uh, white privilege attitude is present in a large percentage of Christian churches. This is one of the reasons I'm an agnostic. And the ones that don't embrace it aren't condemning this. And that's bad. If they're staying silent and not pointing out the United Church of Christ and so many of these other churches, I'm talking mainstream churches, La Baptist. Uh, denominations, a lot of Methodists, you name it. If they're staying silent and not calling them out and saying, you are an apostate church, you are not a Christian church, and you don't deserve to call yourselves a Christian church, if they're staying silent and not doing that, then, as far as I'm concerned, they're out of the parade too. This is why I'm reluctant even to tangle with religion. Plus the fact that I've already pointed out that there's a number of things in the Bible that they simply don't want to hear and they ignore them. But that's neither here nor there. Well, that's my rant for today. There is no such as such thing as white privilege. There is no person granting me some privilege that I have because of my skin color. Sorry. And it doesn't come from privilege. It comes from human beings. And rights come from God. If you believe in God.
So, we'll summarize, you know, take a look at some of the things from history, and then try to tell me that these people were uh, privileged. Like the retreat from Dunkirk, for instance. They weren't privileged, they were desperate. Or D-Day, those men on those boats, were they privileged? When they got shot up with machine guns? No, they weren't privileged, they were dead. So don't give me this horse dung. I'm sorry. Um, uh, just FYI, some people, not all slave owners were white, some of them were black. And, I mean, slave owners in this country. It's a scientific, it's a known historical fact. Well, I matter of fact, some ours. I hope you will ruminate on this. Thank you for watching. And have a nice day.